Uh, Dean, a dramatic win. Your thoughts? Great win, wasn't it? I've got to be honest. Football is just not easy. This is why everyone loves the sport. There's all You can't just look someone's near the top, someone's near the bottom. Like, to be honest, to uh, AFC Foyle, they made it really difficult for us. They got a lot of bodies behind the ball. We knew they are playing the count on. Obviously, to concede after 14, 15 seconds is just criminal for us. But I have to say, our players have helped their goalkeeper today and got them out of a, a sticky spell, to be honest with you. And that's what teams are all about. It's all about, I said that at half time to the lads. I didn't think our ball speed was quick enough. I thought we were playing rogue. So that allowed them to counter attack every now and again on us. Not a lot, but every now and again. Um, and you could see their game plan. They've obviously just watched Halifax and thought, let's just sit in against. I know they've got injuries, I know they've got illness and stuff like that in the camp, but from our point of view, we just kept going. I spoke to the lads at half time. It's so important at half time that I said, some nights you have to win late, and the top teams win late. And we managed to do that today, and I'm really proud of the lads because the second half performance was tremendous. There's a lot of frustration, a lot going on around the place. Our four substitutions scored for us in steady in the 14th game. That's a great, that's a real positive, and I'm delighted for Nicky. I taught Nicky today. I said to him about 15 minutes to go, I pulled him over and I said, keep getting in the right positions, keep getting down the barrel of the goal, you'll get one chance. And he got it and took it. So, brilliant team performance, brilliant character. Um, and I thought we actually moved the ball really well at times as well, to be honest with you, against a real stringent side that really just come here to get out with a point. You just touched on it there, Steady coming on and scoring. That's two and two for him now. How great was his second half performance today? Yeah, good luck he come off the bench. What we didn't want to do was flog him because he's, he hasn't started many this season. And he's only he's only getting used to full-time football. He's only been doing it three months. So I think he goes into his fourth month now. So we've got to be careful. He's just played Saturday. He played, sorry, he played Tuesday, Saturday, and then he's, he's obviously come off the bench again today. we just got to be careful. Um, but really good, good impact on the game. You know, he's game, he'll run hard. And it was a great finish, actually. He controlled his finish really well. So good finish. I'm putting delighted for the kid. Um, Addy came off second half, looked like an injury. How was he after the game? Yeah, look, we've got Addy and we've got Rhys Hall Johnson, both of them have hamstring injuries. So it's just the level of games, the fatigue. Um, so look, this is what happens. This is why you need the squad. Um, so I think Laurie's got a knock as well. So it looks like he's got a dead leg. So we'll see how that is. Just got to patch people up and go again Saturday. We'll see how everybody is in the next 48 hours. Obviously, the opposition got a red card late on. Do you think that had much of an effect on the game? Yeah, huge effect. Yeah, it allowed us to like, gain real territory in control of the game with the ball. We could see they were tired, and even when they had ten men, and obviously they made they made several subs themselves. But listen, they come here. The, the bits are a tiny bit frustrating with the officials, and I think Ruben's a good official. I know he's being fast tracked. He's a young lad. But to play two minutes in the first half when they're taking their time over everything, the way the laws of the game have changed and the way Howard Webb wants it to be, I think it's crazy. So you play two minutes added on the first half and then played eight in the second half when you could see there's one team trying to attack and one team trying to defend and stay in the game. And obviously all the little tricks taking their ages, taking ages on goal kicks and stuff like that. So taking ages on throw-ins. Um, we just want referees to be consistent. I think they had so many bookings. We had one. So, yeah, I think we won. Reese Hall Johnson got booked at the end when he sort of like felt his hamstring. So, you know, our discipline record has been excellent this year. And I thought our discipline and our performance second half was outstanding. And now, obviously, enjoy tonight. But uh, Dorkin on Saturday, televised game. How will the next few days look for the group? Just got to patch everybody up, see how everybody is. So, look, we'll come in Tuesday morning. Jade will obviously go through everybody over the next day or two. We'll see who's fit and who's not. And uh, you could be, there could be some surprises in the selection because obviously the situation we have at the minute um, with several players picking up injuries tonight. But this is going to happen. I think we've played the, what was that? Uh, that was a seventh game in four and a half weeks. It's a little bit heavy, you know what I mean? But this is English football. This is what we love about it. So the biggest thing tonight for us to take out of tonight's game, and obviously before we go on to, on to Saturday, we'll have a look at Dorkin over the next few days. The biggest thing I take from it is the togetherness we've, we, we've got at this football club. We've created it. It don't just happen. It takes time. You've got to open doors to people. You've got to make it inclusive. We've got to support us. But the celebration, when's the last time that's happened at the Hive? So I'm really, really chuffed for everybody. It's a great win. And uh, we've got to get our feet firmly on the floor. That's my job. That'll be tomorrow morning and we move on to Dorkin for Saturday. So we're looking forward to it. And just away from the game today, Gary Hooper has set design for us. Uh, how did that move come about? We're coming about to Aaron McLean. Um, I see Aaron a couple of weeks when we played all the shot and he said he's been playing five a side with Hoops. He's back in the country. And Hoops was a young 16-year-old lad that played for Greys when I was there, sort of like 24, 25 years of age I was back then. And I've always kept in contact with him. He's a fox in the box. He's a lethal striker. He's in great nick. 
Um, his last club was in Dubai and he's, he's been abroad for a few years. So um, we managed to get a deal. And I've been chatting to him for the last two weeks. He's been a nightmare to deal with. He's done it himself, no agent, but he's a great kid, Hoops. And um, I think he'll add added experience to our football club. He's a real, like, he's different to what we've got. He's so different to what we've got he's, and he's a lethal finisher. So I'm delighted to get that done. Obviously, he's got loads of experience in all different levels of, of Europe. Is that uh, experience that could really help this dressing room? Yeah, huge. Yeah, huge, huge experience. The biggest thing is a great character as well. He's a really good lad. I know him personally, so um, I think it's a great sign for it. It's a real coup for the football club. Several EFL clubs were after him, so it's good for him. Obviously, his location where he lives and stuff like that. And I know him personally, um, so it's it's a huge coup for us. The main thing for us now we've got to build up his fitness. Um, he obviously hasn't played a competitive game for a couple of months, so we just got to build up his fitness. But he is quite a naturally fit lad, and he's got a lot of experience, which led to the group. So I think a lot of Nicky, I think Steady, they'll all learn off this player. You know what I mean? So this is a seasoned player, and he's had a fantastic career. Like I said, I remember his debut when he was 16, a long time ago. I think it was back in 2004, and he's gone on to do great things. Obviously for Celtic, support the Celtic. So he's, uh, I think he's going to be a real asset to us in, uh, in the coming weeks. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers, lads.